What we're here for today is to talk about the new Dulux Trade quick drying gloss and undercoat system. It's actually designed that the, well the undercoat is designed that it will actually stick fantastically well to virtually any surface that's been suitably primed. Um, it's got great flow, it's got great application characteristics as well. So I've already applied it to this door um, a little bit earlier on today. So now all we need to do is to denib the surface in readiness to actually receive the first coat of gloss. Um, so just with a medium grade of glass paper is to gently rub over the surface just to remove any atmospheric dust that may have landed on it during the drying process of the undercoat. But it's actually smooth enough as it is so it might not even need it. If the client's already got a sole borne finish already on the surface, we remove that shing level to a matte finish or as close to a matte finish as we can get. That aids with the adhesion of the undercoat. So once we've actually done this, it's all ready to go. We just dust the surface off just to ensure that we don't get any of this joining into the gloss when we apply the gloss. And now it's time to actually get the gloss ready to put onto the door. The best thing to do is to actually always use a synthetic brush. Now I've got a Purdy here which has actually got fantastic filaments, um, great with regards to the, the flag tips on the, on the bristles. So not only can we get the paint onto the surface but we can also ensure um, that the surface is nice and fine with very little if any brush marks at the end of it. First thing we've got to make sure is um, with any of the paints that they're fully stirred. If they're not stirred completely from bottom to top you will actually find that the sheen level may differ slightly. So making sure that we actually get the bottom of the paint to the top of the paint to ensure that it is completely stirred all the way through. Once this is, the, once this is all stirred, we're ready then to decant into our paint kettle to ensure um, that we don't actually contaminate the, the main body of the paint. So I'm just gonna decant some into here and then we're actually ready to go. So it's fully stirred, nice and consistent. Just to make sure we don't get any contamination, I do want to make sure I put the lid back on um, or we might kick it over. So pop that back on and get that one and get that one out of the way. And now we're ready to go. Right, the door's now ready to actually receive a coat of gloss. Um, before we do, I just want to mention one thing and that's actually to help the actual application, especially in warmer conditions, we can actually use a damp cloth. So just a very small amount of water on the cloth and just dampen the surface down. When it comes to actually popping the paint on, all we're looking at doing is making sure that it is nice and even. So it's actually very simple to do with the synthetic brushes anyway and the nature of the gloss. We could use a, a roller if we wanted to, a rad roller. Fabric would be the best one rather than a foam roller. Just by ensuring that you apply it nice and evenly across all the surface. So my advice would be to actually lay the paint on to make sure that it is nice and even in all different directions first off just to ensure that it's covered the whole surface that you actually want to paint. Once that's the case, then lay it off and then leave it. Let that, let that area, don't go back to it and actually finish off the rest of the panel and in turn finish off the rest of the door. So I'll finish, finish this panel and the bottom panel and then follow it with the rails and styles just until we've actually got a nice finish. Mm -hmm. 